Hi, I'm Kim. And I'm Penn, and it's Brangelina Gate Day, Day two. 2. But we see ourselves in them a little bit, only in the sense that like we kind of- We work together. We work together, and we live together, and we raise a family together. And so um, we just want, we feel like we need to kind of hash this out. Yesterday, and you can click back to that video, we talked about what happens when we fight and how we settle those. Mm -hmm. Today, we're just gonna go all out. Let and it all hang out. Our personal Brangelina moments. When we got dumb. Those moments when you thought everything was going okay and the floor got fallen out, under pulled underneath you. Is that how it goes? <laughs> what is it? Is it the rug? It's a rug. And the rug got pulled out from beneath you. I had a boyfriend who I dated for a very long time. He cheated on me all the time. And I think I kinda knew, but I was like too insecure or something to say anything. Like how did you find out? You know, we were, I was like skipping along so happy in this relationship and then one of my best friends came to me and said, Kim, I need you to sit down. She had heard that this boyfriend had been cheating on me. No way, not possible, we are so happy. So I called him and he was staying at his mom's house. It was before cell phones, so I had to actually like call their house. And so I called their house at midnight and his mom answered. And I was like, it's an emergency. I have to talk to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and he's like, hello? I was like, do you have something to tell me? He's like, um... Um, do you want to tell me how you're bleep, bleep, bleep? I won't say her name either. Uh, and he's like, oh, but I don't love her. I love you. Is that what he sounded like? In my brain. So by the way, I've met this guy and I feel kind of like we're dragging him through the mud here. Oh, right away. <laughs> wow. Wow, six years. I know, like I thought we were gonna get married. <sighs> I'm so glad, honestly, I look back on it and it is the best thing that ever happened to me. Seriously. Because if I had never found out, then I never would have broken up to him. I never would have moved to Orlando, which is where I met you. I can't imagine anybody like, A, cheating on you. That's insane. Like, so I have it like, it's so funny. I have a couple of these. So one of them, I, I don't think it counts because it was like when I was in high school, I was like infatuated with this girl and- Who I've met and who's lovely. She's really nice and she kept like, going out with and making out with other guys and a lot of them were old boyfriends and I'd like every time I was like oh man it's happening to me again but like looking back on it I don't think I think I was like so infatuated with her that I like made up times that we were dating where we had just like kissed so so you thought you were dating somebody and you thought she cheated on you three times but maybe you weren't actually ever dating, dating her <laughs> I think it's and it's probably it's probably true no I, I like because I was a helpless so that one's not like Aww. John's like, why is this funny to you? Like, I, it's pathetic. <laughs> My better Brangelina moment was um, when I was 13 and I was at Camp Thunderbird and I asked <laughs> to the dance. We were walking down by the lake. I was like, do you wanna go to the dance? And she was like, sure, it was awesome. And I, it was the first time I'd ever asked anybody anywhere. Aww. And I was floating on air for the rest of the day. The next day, she sends one of her friends over, <gasps> girlfriends over. Like, at the same time when I'm walking around, she goes, are you Penn? And I was like, yeah. She goes, she doesn't really want to go to the dance with you. Okay. Walks off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this makes me, I would have gone to the dance with you. It yeah. makes me so sad. And so, I remember going back to my cabin and just like staring at my dirty underwear for like an hour and a half. Um, and so that was my Brangelina moment. I don't even think she remembers this. What There's if, no way she What if she shows up at the door right now and she's like, Penn, I made a mistake when I was 13 and I want you back. Uh, again, I'm good. Like, oh, I'm good here. I'm sorry. This, all of this has led to me ending up with her. So I am thankful for every Brangelina moment I have ever had. I'm thankful for all the times we were dumped. Yeah, me High too. High five. Up top.